Hey guys, once again, welcome back to the brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we will create a nice and simple cinematic title animation that is super easy to create inside of After Effects. You can also call this cinematic typography or action movie title. This is Vikas from Skyline Motions and without any further ado, let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so here we are in Adobe After Effects and let's start by creating a new composition. So click on this new composition button or you can just go over here and take a new composition and this is going to be our main composition. So let's call it main or this is also going to be the render composition. So you can also call it render. And I'm going to set the size of this composition 1920 in width, 1080 in height. If you want to select 4K resolution, you can select the 4K resolution inside of this list from here. And now let's select a frame rate. So in this case, I'm using the 60 frame per second, but you can select 30 frame per second or 24 frame per second according to you. And now we have to set the duration of this composition, maybe three seconds long, which is good enough for one text reveal. And now hit OK. After that, we need an image for this project. So let's import any image or video file. Just go to the project window, right click on that, go to import file and let's select any image or video file. So for this project, I'm going to use this image that I have downloaded from unsplash.com. Just select the image and click on import. And as you can see, we have an image with different proportion, but we have to fit this image according to this project size. So it's very simple. Just go to composition, take a new composition. And this is going to be the media composition where we can drag and drop our image or video file. So let's call it media and hit OK. Now let's drag this image inside of this media composition. Hit S on the keyboard to open this scale property. Let's bring it down and set the value maybe 48% you can set the image in the center just like that and then go to your render composition which is the main composition and inside of this main composition we have to import the media composition just like that and then we have to animate the image first just go to on one and a half second hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property we have to set the scale value maybe 110 percent you can click on this stopwatch button and create a keyframe on this uh, one and a half uh, second timeline. And then go to very first frame. Let's increase the size a little bit. So I'm going to set the value 120%. All right, so we have this slow zoom out animation and now we have to create fast zoom out animation. So just go to one second forward in time from this keyframe. So it should be two and a half second right over here and let's set the value maybe 100% which is the default value and now this is the linear animation but we need to create a smooth animation for these two keyframes so select these two keyframes only not this one hit F9 to easy ease them go to your graph editor if your graph editor not looking like this then right click on that and check this edit a speed graph and once you have done this select the point hold shift and just drag this handle like this and make it smooth curve just like this and leave the curve as it is just close the graph editor and finally we will get this type of smooth animation all right after that let's convert this image into a dual tone image so just go to effect and preset and search for channel so this is the channel mixer. Let's apply the channel mixer effect on this image. And here we have the red, green and blue value 100. But we have to convert this image into a dual tone. So let's turn off the third color and set the value 0. Set the value of the second color 0. And set the first color value 100 and leave the setting as it is. And now we will get this type of image. After that, we have to create a shape layer. So it's very simple. Just double click on this blank area, select the move tool, hold control on the keyboard and just double click on this rectangle tool. And we will get this rectangular shape. After that, we have to animate the shape. But before that, we have to colorize it. So just go to effect and preset and search for fill effect. And this is the fill effect. Let's apply this fill on this solid layer. 
and uh, we are working on a red color so we have to select the red color all right so this is the shape layer right click on that click on rename and uh, let's call it color hit ok and now we have to animate the color so it's very simple let's open the transform and here we have the scale but width and height are linked together so just unlink the width and height and here we have the height so let's animate the height first just go to the one and a half second right over here click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a scale parameter and go to half second right over here and set the value zero in the height value and we will get this type of linear animation select both the keyframe hit f9 to easy ease them go to your craft editor and do the same thing and just drag these handle just like that we have two handles for this and now you can close the graph editor and we will get this type of animation after that let's close the layer hit t on the keyboard to bring out the opacity and here we have the opacity let's set the value maybe 20 percent and we will get this type of effect all right now select the color layer hit u to open these active keyframes and we have to do one more thing just place the cti on this keyframe and let's set the value maybe 90 percent which is much better all right now you can close the layer after that we have to create text over here so it's very simple select the text tool go to character if you don't have the character window then go to window and check this option character and now we have to select bold and italic font style so for that i'm going to use this gotham ultra font style but of course you can select any font style that you like but make sure you have to select the bold and italic which is very suitable for this type of project and now let's set the size of this uh, text maybe 330 pixel all right and let's do one more thing just go to paragraph and set it to center all right now again go to the character click over here and type anything whatever you want just like that hit ctrl a to highlight all and now we have to select the white color for this hit ok now select the text layer let's align it to the center just go to align click on align horizontally click on this align vertically now this text in the center now select the move tool select the layer and let's set the anchor point in the center so it's very simple hold control on the keyboard and just double click on this pan behind tool and set the anchor point in the center all right and now select the move tool and we have to animate the text so it's very simple let's open it up and click on this animate add a parameter position and set the y position value maybe 300 let's add one more parameter so click on this add go to property select the opacity set the opacity zero now open range selector go to one and a half second right over here and uh, here we have the offset let's set the offset 100 turn on the stopwatch button go to half a second right over here and set the value negative 100 and we will get this type of animation after that let's open the advance and here we have the shape let's change the shape to ramp up and here we have the ease high so let's set the value maybe 30 percent is low value 100 percent all right and finally we will get this smooth animation just like that now you can close the layer after that we have to duplicate the layer so select the text layer hit ctrl d to duplicate drag the second copy below the first copy select the text tool just double click on that and let's increase the size so i'm going to set the value maybe 1200 pixel and now let's align it to the center just like this now you can align the anchor point in the center so select the second text layer hold ctrl and just double click on this pan behind tool and set the anchor point in the center we just go to the character and here we have to select the black color just like that and after that just go to the blending mode and let's change this to soft light and we will get something like this after that hit t on the keyboard to bring out the opacity and let's set the opacity maybe 75 percent 
and finally we will get this type of effect and now let's add drop shadow effect on the text so select the move tool just go to effect and preset and search for drop shadow so this is the drop shadow let's drag and drop on this enemy text and let's do some setting decrease the opacity and set this uh, 40 percent let's increase the distance and set the value maybe 30 let's increase the softness and set this value maybe 80 all right and finally we will get the drop shadow as you can see and now let's animate the size of this text but before that select the media hit u to open the active keyframes and here we have two keyframes so just go to the first keyframe right over here select the main text hit s to open the scale property let's set the value maybe 105 percent turn on the stopwatch button go to two and a half second right over here let's set it to 85 percent finally we will get this type of zoom out animation but this is linear right now so select both the keyframes hit f9 to easy ease them go to your graph editor let's create smooth animation so highlight this point hold shift on the keyboard hold this handle and just drag it like this make sure you have selected this option edit speed graph close the graph editor and we will get this awesome animation and now you can close the layer after that we have to create adjustment layer so just go to layer go to new and take a new adjustment layer and this is going to be the color control so right click on that click on rename call it color control select the color control go to effect and preset and search for hue and saturation so this is the hue and saturation effect let's apply this on color control and by using the hue value you can switch the color from here as you can see just like that after that select all the layers right click on that click on pre-compose and this is going to be the animation so let's call it animation check this option move all attributes into the new composition hit ok and here we have to create some flickering effect at the end of this animation so let's zoom in and this is the two second and 30 frame which is two and a half second now select the animation layer hit ctrl shift d to split the layer go to five frame forward in time hold ctrl shift d to split the layer go to four frame forward in time you can move the cdi by pressing the paste down button on the keyboard so press four time for four frame hold ctrl shift d now let's move three frame forward in time so one two three hold ctrl shift d now we have to move two time one two hit ctrl shift d now just go to two frame forward hit ctrl shift d two frame forward hit ctrl shift d after that we have to split the layer frame by frame so just go to one frame forward in time hold ctrl shift d so it's very easy do the same process so i'm going to do this in fast forward all right so it's done now we have to delete every alternate layers just delete the first one and do the same thing it's very easy just like that let's do one more thing just select the layer hit s to open the scale set the value 90 percent go to the second one hit s set it to 80 percent go to the third one and set the value 70 percent now go to the fourth one hit s and set it 60 and do the same thing just select this one hit s and set it to 50 percent now you can close all the layers after that select one frame layers maybe these layers and we have to apply black and white effect on it so search for tint effect so this is the tint just double click on this tint and the tint effect is applied on all the selected layers finally just go to very first frame go to full screen and let's have a look all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button turn on the bell notification for more interesting videos and also hit the like button for this video my name is vikash and i will see you in the next one till then bye bye